if you don't want to be found guilty of falsifying business records uh, 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 and, 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 and as a felony, you know, don't sleep with the porn star. Don't lie about it. Don't pay her off. Don't cover up the payoff. Don't cover off the payoff in the middle of a presidential campaign and, uh, and where, where you're making an illegal contribution. And don't don't roast the guy up for taxes who you, who you used as the as the front man. If you won't want, if you don't want to be held liable for rape like Donald Trump has, don't grab the woman's genitalia. If you don't want to be held liable for defaming the woman that you raped, don't keep lying about what you did and calling her a nut job. If you don't want to be indicted for overthrowing the Constitution, don't start a self coup. If you don't want to be indicted for classified stealing classified documents and obstructing justice, don't take the classified documents. When the government asks for it back, give them back. If if you if the FBI serves you with a search warrant, don't hide the documents uh, and don't and don't lie about it and don't have your lawyers lie about it. This isn't that hard. Donald Trump is not the victim here. This was certainly a hoax, a sham. This was devastating for the average American watching. It is shameful to see this. And I hope Americans are paying attention because America, they think you are stupid. What we saw today was an absolute travesty of justice. This was not law. This was not criminal justice. This was politics. This was a political smear job. This was an attack job. This is what you see in banana republics. And, and, and it is, I am both furious and heartbroken at the same time. This is uh, the quintessential show trial. This is what you see in communist countries. This is what I grew up having people in this community tell me about. It happened in the days after the Castro Revolution. Obviously, those led to executions. This, on the other hand, is... Obviously, President Trump has a base that is strong and fervent. But there was a need for you as the chairman to try to figure out a way to unite all of the Republican Party. And could Alvin Bragg have actually helped you out in that regard? Yeah, look, everybody in our party and frankly, all of the independents and all Americans understand that these trials are politically motivated, that this has been a witch hunt since day one. We have seen the weaponization of the judiciary, not just in New York, but in states all across the country, civil cases, criminal cases where they're trying to use the judiciary to go after Donald Trump and his allies. And people have seen through that. That's why we're seeing polling right now that says that this verdict is not going to have an impact on the election. When he was leaving, one thing he brought up were, were the witnesses who were not called. And he was saying that there could have been witnesses that would have helped make the case. We never saw Keith Schiller, Alan Weisselberg, some key figures here who got brought up a lot. Why didn't the defense call any of these witnesses? Well, because we happen to live in America and we don't have the burden of proof. And so there's not, that's not the point. That should, that's a question that is a, a loaded question that should not be asked of a, a defense attorney or a defendant. The, the question that we asked the jury and they ultimately obviously got passed is why, why the prosecution didn't call those witnesses, right? You, as a defense attorney, you don't go into a case saying, um, I'm going to fill the holes of the prosecution, right? And, and Keith Schiller and, and some of the other witnesses that were not ultimately called, in our view, should have been called, um, should have been called by the prosecution. And, and we, we asked the jury to, to take a hard look at that. I, I, I don't know whether they did or not, but, but they, they convicted. Todd Blanche. Last night when I saw President Trump saying, uh, you know, there was no fraud, that I did nothing wrong, I had this deja vu and I thought, this is exactly what he was doing in 2017, in 2018, saying there was no collusion. I didn't collude with Russia. I mean, they had been attacking no him and trying to stop left. him. Literally, it's been five or six years at this point. What are they so afraid of? Why are they so afraid of Trump? Well, because they know that he can win, that he's going to take back the presidency and he's going to change the corruption in the deep state. He knows that the deep police state, just like when they're trying to hire the 87,000 armed IRS agents, they're trying to increase their powers and try and violate our constitutional rights and liberties. He knows. Yesterday was a sad day for America, but I'm optimistic this morning. I'm optimistic because uh, I think this uh, the trial is, uh, you know, part of a eight year long uh, attempt to people who are, you know, 
been trying to take down Donald Trump since he won in November 16. And I think the reason why the people have a hard time understanding why this may not change the outcome in November or why people are donating in record dollars to Donald Trump yesterday is because uh, the verdict doesn't affect the average American. If yesterday you were struggling to pay your grocery bill and yesterday you were struggling to pay for your electric bill or you couldn't buy a house because interest rates are too high, you have those same set of problems today. If the border being open uh, had led to uh, some family member who died of a fentanyl poisoning, you still have that same problem today. And this election this fall is going to be about the issues that are affecting American people. It's not going to be about this trial. When he was leaving, one thing he brought up were, were the witnesses who were not called. And he was saying that there could have been witnesses that would have helped make the case. We never saw Keith Schiller, Alan Weisselberg, some key figures here who got brought up a lot. Why didn't the defense call any of these witnesses? Well, because we happen to live in America and we don't have the burden of proof. And so there's not... The, the, that's not the point. That should, that's a question that is a, a loaded question that should not be asked of a, a defense attorney or a defendant. The, the question that we asked the jury, and they ultimately obviously got passed, is why why the prosecution didn't call those witnesses, right? You, as a defense attorney, you don't go into a case saying, um, I'm going to fill the holes of the prosecution, right? And, and Keith Schiller and, and some of the other witnesses that were not ultimately called, in our view, should have been called, um, should have been called by the prosecution, and, and we, we asked the jury to, to take a hard look at that. I, I, I don't know whether they did or not, but, but they, they convicted. Todd Blanche. Wow. All counts are unanimous. No hung jury. And it's guilty! It's a guilty! Officially, Donald J. Trump has been found guilty. It is a guilty. Unanimous. Unanimous. It is guilty. G-U-I-L-T-Y. Let me tell you again. It is coming through here. It is a G-U-L-I-T-Y. He is guilty. Guilty on all 34 charges. Officially, Donald J. Trump is guilty. I will say it very slowly in case you are joining us. The official news is he is guilty. We broke it before anyone else. They are still talking about all types of Jews. He's guilty. That is it. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Donald J. Trump has been found guilty in the hush money trial. All right. Don't know what they're going to say. It is a guilty. Please leave your comments now. Trump is guilty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> my, my breath is actually taken away. Donald J. Trump has been found Inside Donald Trump's prison cell, the surroundings are like any other small enclosed space. The walls are gray concrete and a narrow cot with a thin mattress is the only piece of furniture. A tiny metal sink and toilet combo sit in one corner, while a small barred window allows a sliver of natural light to filter in. The sound of clanking bars echoes through the air as guards patrol the hallway outside. What? What? What is President Trump is 76 years old. He will die in federal prison. Trump spends his days pacing the limited floor space. The once powerful man now finds himself in a place of confinement. 